hello everyone welcome to almighty tricks in this video we will be understanding about adapter design pattern so before we start with adapter design pattern let's take one real time example so uh, i have one us charger and one uk charger and one indian charger and i am staying in india okay so the power supply port will be like this okay so if so in this power supply port so indian charger can be used because if you see this part this two part I, it is very much compatible with this Indian power supply port okay but if you compare with UK or US charger these things are not compatible with Indian power supply port okay so for this we need something so if we uh, let's say some converter we need okay that converter should this US charger can be plugged into this converter and UK charger also plug into this converter Indian charger also plug into this converter and this converter should plug into this indian power supply port okay so uh, there is uh, some device called adapter or converter using this we can support all these three chargers so us charger can be used uk charger can be used indian charger can be used using this converter or ad adapter in indian power supply port okay so this is nothing but it is called adapter okay so it means what it convert it is uh, helping us to converting some something to some something so the here the converter will come okay so this is this is directly not compatible with this one so it will use this converter to convert into this part okay so this is the basic real-time example uh, so let's understand one scenario so let's say i have one client okay i have in uh, i have one client and in this client I need to integrate one payment gateway let's say I am using one payment gateway called Paytm okay so to use one payment gateway I can use Paytm SDK or I can use Paytm API okay okay so uh, so how can I use this uh, Paytm SDK in my application so I have taken one simple example so I have one client this is the client and I have one method that is payment method so in this payment method i have initialized this paytm sdk okay and i am creating this object paytm sdk and using this paytm object i am calling this make payment method which is responsible to pay some amount so i here i am passing it some amount as 5000 okay so so if you see here basically it is breaking um, a dependency inversion principle if you don't know about dependency inversion principle you can uh, check out my uh, solid design principle playlist there i have explained about dependency inversion i have explained about ocp everything i have explained so first check that one so here basically it is breaking dependency inversion so dependency inversion is saying let's say uh, these these two are this uh, client and paytms are uh, both are class paytm sdk are both are class they are directly interacting with each other okay they are directly interacting with each other which is breaking dependency inversion so in between we need to have some abstraction okay so it can be a interface or it, it can be abstract abstract class okay so here basically it is breaking dependency inversion okay so now let's let's uh, uh, in my in my application i need to support another uh, um, another uh, uh, payment gateway that is called pay you money let's say pay you money so there uh, this sdk i also i need to support in my application so in this case in this case if if i want to support this pay you money sdk what i need to do i need to create object of this sdk right so i need to create like this pay you money sdk is equal to new pay you money sdk let's say okay now i need to i need to call uh, this pay, payment method right so payment method can be different uh, the name of this payment method can be different from the pay atm so let's say here it should be like maybe pay so here i need to pass something some value i need to pass okay so if you see we are changing the code in existing code okay we are this is existing code then we are changing something we need to support new features so for that we are changing in existing code so basically it is breaking ocp principle okay so so again uh, you can check out him my solid design principle playlist there i have explained about ocp principle yeah so uh, this is breaking ocp principle so how can we use all these third-party application 
so to support third party sdk or third party api so what we can do we can use adopter design pattern okay so let's say this is my client i have this client okay let's say i have this client and i need to support two payment system that is called paytm sdk and another one is payu money sdk okay now i cannot directly interact with client because we see that dependency inversion is breaking and ocp is breaking okay so for that what i can do i can have one class okay i can have one class let's say this is paytm class this is pay you money class okay and i need to have one interface i need to have one interface let's say um let's say payment gateway okay this is interface so let let me have one method here let's say pay method okay some amount okay and this paytm class and pay you money class will implement this interface so if i am implementing this interface i need to override this method right pay method okay so if i override this method okay then what i can do i can create i can create object of this paytm sdk in this paytm class similarly here also i can create object of payu money sdk in payu money class so by which this is becoming loose coupling and it is it is supporting dependency inversion and also let's say we want to use in future paypal so for that also we can we can just we just need to create one extra class and there we need to use this uh, uh, paypal sdk so basically we are not changing any code in our existing code base okay so it is also supporting scp so dependency or inversion is uh, resolved and ocp principle is supporting here okay and and let's say and this client in inside this client we can use this payment gateway um, interface to create the object okay so how can we create the object let's understand that one so i'll come to this part later how can we create the object let's say this is payment gateway interface let's say i payment gateway interface let's say p for now i am supporting let's say paytm so if i am supporting paytm what i can do i can just use the new keyword to create the paytm object and as this method is same as this method is same i no need to call the uh, the method which are present in sdk the method which are pre present in pay you money so i just need to call the uh, pay method right so p dot pay and here i need to pass some amount let's say 2000 okay so now let's say i want to support pay you money sdk okay let's say i want to you support uh, another gateway uh, pay you money so for that just i need to create the object so pay you money class object i need to create and i no need to do anything else okay similarly let's say in future i want to support paypal so for that i need to create paypal object i no need to do anything else so it is supporting it is supporting ocp as well as dependency inversion okay so let's code this one let me create one package adapter package so let me create one java class let's say client okay and let's say i need to support let let me have one dummy sdk third party packages okay so let's say uh, i have some sdk third party okay so let me create some dummy uh, sdk like uh, ptm sdk 
similarly let me create another one pay you money SDK okay let me have one method pay method public void make payment let's say so I need to have let's say I'm printing paying via pay you money okay amount is let's say this one let me take int amount this amount I'll print here okay let me create one method here let's say public void let's say transaction let's say money transaction here also it is taking some amount int amount s out paying via paytm okay and amount is let's say amount okay so this is uh, i'm assuming uh, you understood all this uh, this thing why I have created this SDK third party uh, third party package because I don't want to complex this application just I, we need to use SDK or we need to use some external API right so for that I just created this Paytm SDK or pay you money SDK to mock up the external SDK or API okay so this is I have created so for this to support this uh, Paytm or uh, Paytm SDK or pay you money SDK so I can use I need to create two classes that is paytm class and another one is pay you money class okay so so first of all what I need to do I need to have one method sorry I need to have one interface let's say I gateway which will work as an adapter let's say adapter I gateway adapter okay it is interface and I can use void pay method where I can pass int amount right and this interface I can extend from paytm class implement I gateway adapter interface and I need to override the method pay method okay similarly in pay you money as well I need to implement I gateway interface and I need to override this pay method okay now in pay you money i have this method so let me call the uh, third party api or third party sdk so for that we have created one third party mock sdk say pay you money sdk let's say pay you is equal to new pay you money sdk okay so i'll call pay you dot make amount make payment so I will pass the amount okay similarly in pay, paytm also I need to call the third party mock SDK that is paytm paytm SDK okay paytm okay new paytm SDK so paytm paytm dot pay method why it is not coming dot oh, make transaction so I need to pass the amount okay so this is it so now let's say I want to pay money via paytm so let me open client class so let me create one publish static void main method so here what I need to do I payment I gateway adapter let's say pay I gateway adapter is equal to new paytm okay and I need to use I gateway adapter dot pay if I put some 6000 something then if I run then it should print okay so it is printing paying via paytm amount 6000 okay let's say in future I want to uh, use pay you money so in this case just I need to change this one p 
pay you money. That's all. If I run now, okay, let me put semicolon. If I run now, so it is saying paying via pay you money amount 6000. So it is uh, supporting dependency inversion as well as it is supporting open close principle. Okay. Okay, so this is all about adapter design pattern, but we can use factory design pattern with adapter design pattern. Okay, so let's do that one. So how can we do that? Let's understand. So here basically in the client class, we are creating payment gateway. Then we are uh, uh, calling the appropriate method. Okay, so what we can do if we are trying to support uh, factory design pattern with adapter design pattern, what we can do, we can have another layer that is let's say factory factory class so in this class basically we will be having one switch case or if condition where uh, we will put some uh, or we will pass some input based on the input it will create pay atm object or pay, pay you money object or it can be cre create paypal object okay not sdk this paypal object okay so let's do that so what i will do i can have one factory class let's say um, get to a factory okay so what i will do i can have one method that is let's say so it should be i get to a adapter type and pay i'll take input let's say string type i mean get to a type so here i'll check I can use if condition or uh, switch case is anything fine. So I'll check type dot is equals to uh, let's say payment paytm. Okay, then what I'll do? I'll create the object of paytm. Okay, and I'll return. Similarly, else if type is equals to type dot equals to let's say pay you money. So in that case, I'll return pay you money. Okay. If anything is not sat not satisfying, then what I'll do? I'll throw an exception that is new. Let's say illegal argument exception. Okay, it's fine. Let me pass invalid gateway type okay now what i'll do in the client class let me comment out this thing i can use the factory class so it will return i get we adapter type i get to adapter type is equal to so i can use new gateway factory dot pay okay and i'll pass let's say paytm now okay and let me run this okay so i am creating the object okay i am creating the object of paytm so basically uh, now i need to call the appropriate method i get pay let's say 5000 now if i run then it should work okay Similarly, let's say I am passing pay, pay you money. Okay, pay you money. Let's say I am passing something else. Let's say X, Y, Z. It should throw exception. Okay, it is throwing exception. Okay, so when can we use adapter design pattern? So adapter design pattern, if there is a requirement where we need to interact with the third party APIs or SDK. So in that case, we can think of uh, adapter design pattern, but it is totally depends on your organization, whether they are uh, planning to uh, adopt this adapter design pattern or not. So that that thing is totally depends on your organization. Okay, so this is all about adapter design pattern. Hope you understood all these concepts for adapter design pattern. Thank you for watching this video.